Words cannot well express my relief that we could rescue my sister. Nor my gratitude to all of you. What of him, Golders? He felt it would be inappropriate for him to be present at your reunion with Ajdaya, and chose to remain down in the chasm. If you wish to hear an apology, however, I should be glad to drag him here. Nay, that shall not be necessary. By his deeds hath he demonstrated his contrition. So, what will you do now? I've learned much, journeying together with you. Experienced things I could never have experienced alone. Together with Golbez, I hope to do the same as we labor to restore the 13th. Then I suppose it's farewell for now. Be sure to share with Golbez what you've learned of the source and its reflections, as well as the true nature of light and dark. He is as resourceful as he is determined, and will surely make the very most of the insights. Indeed. Once we've gained a better understanding of the situation, I hope we can rely on your counsel. But of course, I too shall continue probing new possibilities, the better to be of aid when the time comes. Ah, uh, speaking of which... From ocean rise and cloud bank form, from mountain spring and rainfall storm, from river flow and life be born. Come forth, my servant. I revised the incantation, which is not to say you know how it went before. Are we clear? Nidana provided me with spare warding scales, which apparently provide greater protection than before. This should keep the familiar safe. So long as you give the Nixie ether from time to time, it will persist and serve as a beacon for us to find you. Already we find ourselves with a new ally. Thank you. When you have the chance, Please thank everyone for me. Those in Razatan, Garlemald, Charlien. The first and on the moon. A lengthy list. A gift for Reen. In return for the light she helped me harness. It's the memoria holding Xeromus. 
If used to augment darkness in the first, it may help to create balance between our worlds. An excellent idea. Similarly, why not entrust the Archfiend's Memoria to Zero? In that case, I shall pass them on to Golbez, to inspire and admonish him in equal measure. You will, I'm sure. Just don't try to forcibly summon me. I won't come. No matter where we are, or how much time passes, our bond will endure. This I believe.
Oh, it's you again. Is everything all right? So you were able to rescue Ashdaya. Thank the Twelve. Channeling light from the first was rather ingenious. It may fall short of cross-rift travel, but it's still an impressive achievement in my book. You're too kind. Suffice it to say, though, that I don't intend to rest on these laurels. There's always more to be done. Zero stayed in the void, did she? Well, if I had known it would come to that, I would have said a proper farewell. Really? I don't remember saying anything profound. Still, I'm glad that she got something out of her time here. As the days roll on, things will change for the both of us. But some things will remain as they are. As far as I'm concerned, Zero will always be a friend and comrade. And I will never forget her. If she's working tirelessly to restore the 13th, it wouldn't do to be outdone here. When next Zero visits, we must see to it that you have a shiny new Garlemald to show her. Indeed. And speaking of rebuilding, there's a matter I'd like to discuss with you and Alfino. Word has spread of our dealings with Razat Han, and people are excited by the prospect of standing on our own two feet again. Naturally, it won't be straightforward. It never is. But on the whole, I have a good feeling about things. In other words, it may be time for us to limit our involvement, that Garleans might take the lead? I can see the sense in that. No, no, that's not what I meant at all. Seeing as things are going well, we want you to take a rest. A proper rest. That's what I wanted to say on everyone's behalf. You've done so much for us already. Toiled beside us in the cold for far longer than anyone could ask. You've earned a reprieve a hundred times over. So go on. Step away from here and head wherever you like. But if it were me, I'd choose somewhere warm. I was thinking of taking a break anyway. Far be it from us to go against such a heartfelt request. Though I would be lying were I to say matters here wouldn't weigh on our minds. We could take a leaf out of Zero's book and roam about for a while. Maybe visit nations who share little history with Garlemald. Look for opportunities to foster future relations. We might learn something of recent foreign affairs that has escaped our notice. Hmm. As an independent party, we would be well suited to the task. An excellent idea, Alice. 
Well, that hardly sounds like a rest at all. To us, it is the best kind of rest. Stimulating and meaningful. If it's settled, then let's return to Charlien and consider our options. What about the rest of you? Do you have any plans? We're indebted to Lord Fortuno and his colleagues for their cooperation. It would be meet to report on the outcome of our mission. Then it seems we are all bound for Charlian. Upon arriving, let us seek out Athelis at the Rostra and have her notify father. No. 